Oh, Jesus Christ. No. Hey, oh, it's gone out. Um, hello, my fellow warriors. My name is Hero Knight, and welcome back to a brand new episode video, whatever. On this video today, I am going to review, um, well, not review, just kind of the top five best adult cartoons I watched in 2021. So, yes. Let me take this out. I'm just gonna put it right here. Alright, so I kind of like I'm holding it. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna review five best, you know, uh, best uh, adult cartoons. Because I'm bored and a lot of people are doing this, and I never really did this in 2019, so, uh, so yeah. So let's go. So let's do this. Uh, okay. Num okay, for number one is uh, Close Enough on HBO Max. Uh, um, from the creators, um, oh, creator, from the creator of a regular show comes a brand new animated series for adults. Shocker! And, 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 yeah, it's Close Enough. The story is about a uh, family, um, story is about, like, sorry for the camera, Jesus Stories about a fa this oh stories about um a family in the like well I think early thirties who you know because regular show was in like the er like was in like adult like people in the twenties so this is like people are now in the thirties so with a job a house bills a, like a kid on the way a wife you know and. They go and they do it great in the show. First of all, JJ J. Quintel, you did a great show. Um, you did a good job in the show because I saw the regular show finale. It was amazing. I was one, and yeah, that's and this thing has been has been in production hell. Because if you guys don't know, this thing was gonna come out in TBS, like, and. Like and, and and the trailer is still on TBS. I thought they were just gonna remove it, but it still is. But yeah, it it's still on. Yeah, it must be coming out on yeah, on TBS, but it got delayed, delayed, delayed. And I was getting worried because a lot of people thought it was gonna get cancelled. But finally, HBO Max said, "Hey, TBS, sis, bring us that show. We'll have it." And then yeah, now HBO now is a HBO Max original, even though it's actually weird. Even though it's weird, in the intro, um, they still say the TBS, uh, TBS presents, so, but, uh, uh, oh yeah, the intro for this, the intro, it, like, you know, the theme song, like, regular show, or just, a uh, bum bum, t and like that, this one, it does it quite interesting, it's literally, it, it's literally just bouncy stuff around, just, just I don't know how to describe it, but it's just amazing. Um, I like the characters. I like I like Josh. I like Emily. I like what would you call it? Bridget and Alex. Um. Um. I forgot what's the daughter's called. <laughs> the daughter's app, but I just got told no Prish. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like super easy. Super easy when I research it. But yeah, this show is amazing. Um, it's, I think it's obviously renewed for a second season because the show's a huge success, HBO Max, but since I don't have HBO Max, I have to watch it on a pirating app, so yay, because no, it was, no, I don't have HBO Max, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend that much, I gotta cost a lot, but at, n but at number two, it's, it's Solo Opposites, um, from, from, again, from the creators of, uh, from, the, from Justin Roiland, the creator of um, of Rick and Morty, comes a brand new show on Hulu named Solo Opposites. And uh, this is the one I was mostly hyped for. I don't know why they're not put at uh, number five, but uh, but this is the one I was mostly hyped for because I'm a huge fan of Rick and Morty. I love it. And season five is coming out soon. Don't know when, but it's going to have a sneak peek. Let, let the show sneak peek on YouTube. Well, I really like this show. I love the characters. I just love 
I just love this show. So the story is about a family of aliens who just escaped the planet by being destroyed by an asteroid and now they've gone to Earth into into our world. And yeah. Yeah, and then they and when they drop down they do wacky adventures. Because, you know, they're aliens. They don't know about our our stuff we do. They don't know well, when they watch TV, they don't know if that's real or fake. They don't know if murder is even a good thing. Um, I I just stole this from from, from the Comic Con thing. But I don't know, but but yeah, the show's the show's pretty great. I love I love the characters Terry Corvo, Yamulak, and Jesse, and that little slug, the pupa. All five characters in one house, and. It's really amazing. Uh, what I really like to show that Terry, the green tall alien, like his shirt, you know, like in every episode his shirt has a different picture or word on it and that's really funny. And yes, I did do a review on it. So you can guys check that out. I don't know how to put that link thing. Um, but, nah. But, um, but at number three, and number three is is pen. It's Netflix original, the Midnight Gospel from Pendleton Ward, the creator of Adventure Time, one of my all time favorite cartoons of all time. He has made a new show with with Duncan Trussell, the Midnight Gospel, and is based off Duncan Trussell's podcast. Um. So stories about a family of aliens who go it like oh no I just it got solo off is it it okay it it it's about this purple guy not the one from Five Nights at Freddy's it's this one um he go like he does this like podcast he has this like dimension machine that he goes to every dimension in the planets. And, you know, he kind of chats to them with the podcast and, and kind of uploads it, I, I guess, to YouTube. Like, he doesn't really, like, like with podcasts, like, he doesn't really do it off screen. Or oh, Clancy, yeah, the name, the purple guy's name's Clancy. Yeah, Clancy. He doesn't really do it off screen like most podcasts. He kind of just films it with his mini, mini drones. And then he just posts it on, again, I guess, YouTube. Uh, big, I don't know. But I just this show again. Why is this not my number one list? I don't know the show. God damn it! Uh, but this show is just oh, I don't know how to describe it. It is just amazing. Ah, uh, and like again, it's a Netflix, and I have Netflix, so yeah, of course. But the show is just really amazing. Like even Pillow likes the show. You have anything to say? By the God damn it. Uh, I might as well hold it like this, like a news reporter. Um, but, um, yeah, but this show is amazing. I love the art style. The art style is really amazing. Like, I was actually really hyped for this show because when Penelope Wall, like, like, when it was announced, I was like, wait, I was like, what are they going to be? An adult show or a kid show? I was like, it's an adult show, yay. Because this is like a trend. I feel like this is like a thing now that, you know, you make a kid show that is she's successful, it ends. And then you move on and then you make an adult show. It's just, it's just, yeah, I feel like it's kind of been a trend, I, I guess. Um, but, oh, but yeah, Pillow, this little nuff there. Yeah, he likes it. Am I anything to say? No? Dear. Um, yeah, but all in all, this show. Uh, the Midnight Gospel is amazing. In in every episode, it's like you know a different person from each dimension that like he like like he interviews people on like dying planets. So, so yeah, it gets interesting. Uh, but uh, the end, the season one finale is just oh pardon me. 
the season one finale is uh, it's really amazing. I don't. It's just it's really the season one finale. It's just got, uh, but yeah, it's really good. We good. At number four, uh, Duncanville from Amy Poehler from Parks and Recreate. Parks and Recreation comes a, a Fox adult show that is that is about a boy. I think I don't know how age is he. I don't know fifteen, like my age. Um, he you know he's a fifteen boy. He had to deal with embarrassing parents. You know, uh, sat you know annoying sister. Uh, I think I, I think that I think obviously the adopted sister. Like I think she's Japanese or Asian. I'm not trying to be offensive, like I don't know what race is he is she. But um yeah, the adopted daughter. But you know, Dunk but you know what when I said all that stuff to you guys are like that this just doesn't sound nothing new. You guys might be thinking yes and yes it doesn't, but this show is just funny. It is funny. Like it has like yeah, the animation is the typical adult animation. Yeah. You know, but I just love this show. I watched it a lot. I didn't see a lot of the um, com um the Comic Con at home, but this show was just goddamn amazing. I love the characters. I love Duncan. Duncan is he kind of does relate to me because I'm, um I like I just love everyone. I just love the character. Amy Poehler, he did a great job. I, I, I know it was created by other two other people, but I don't know and I don't care about them. I just like Amy Poehler because she's from Parks and Recreation and I love that show. Um, on, 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 my, on my last one, I'll give you guys a few honourable mentions because, you know, I need to do that. Um... Central Park from Lauren Bruchard, the guy who made um, Bob the Burgers. I'm a huge fan of that show. He made Central Park, and I did indeed do a review on that. So you can check that out. But I'll give you a quick what the story is about. It's about a story about the Central Park. You know Central Park, but it's getting torn down by its, like uh, I think Bretzy. Bretzy is this little midget girl. Uh, but yeah, it's being torn down. So and you know the Tillemans, the, the characters of the main. Who you know tries to save it, and and yes, you guys are probably wondering. Yes, the most typical save the rec center, and I'm not a fan, but Lauren Bouchard, you did a good job on it. But yeah, that's all in all. Um, what else I need to put on my honorable mentions? I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. I didn't write a script for this. Don't yell at me. I didn't have the time. Um, because. What else? Um, nah, okay, that's it. At number, okay, at finally at number five is Star Trek Lower Deck. I like this show. This show was funny. I, I don't get the hate for this, and and I didn't do, and I did indeed do a. Uh, uh, didn't do a like a kind of like a a video about why it's low it why is Lower Deck hated and that lot, so I did do that. Um, uh, yeah, but yeah, I love the show, the animation. The animation is actually, is actually kind of gorgeous. It's really amazing. I love it. I love the animation. I love the characters. They're so funny. Um, it's created by Mike McMahon. Um, he's, he is like, like he's kind of like, I don't know, like, I think a writer on Rick and Morty, I guess. I don't know. But, and, um, and he's, and he's, like, and he also is the co-creator of Solar Opposites. But, yeah, Star Trek Lower Decks is a funny show. It's a story about these four idiots who's in the USS Cerritos, you know. The you know, so Cerritos and Star Trek, and you know, they go on like again, wacky adventures, you know, defeating aliens and that lot. Um, and the names of the four characters, um, uh, like Brother Rutherford, uh, yeah, that's it. I don't know, I, I watched this show, I rewatched this show, but 
Yeah, the, the, the um, Star Trek Lower Deck is really amazing. I highly suggest you watch. I highly suggest you watch. What? What? I highly suggest you watch it. Okay, I highly suggest you watch it. Okay, because. It, and it's on CBS All Access, so yeah. And I also have to watch on one of those pirate dinner, pirate websites. But I, I'm not getting CBS All Access. Oh yeah. Um, I, th I thought another thing on my honorable mentions. Um, Big Mel season four on my honorable mentions. Yeah, good season. Uh, yeah, great season. I like I like, I like Big Mouth. Make sure you guys are like confused, but I love Big Mouth. So uh, screw you. Um, the like. But uh, but to lower deck. But I love lower deck. I love the characters. I love the humor. The jokes are like really funny. And I can tell Mike McMahon, you know, really tried his hardest to make the show. And he actually and he did a really good job on making a great show. And I really do not get the hate for this show. Like I think probably because it's a comedy. But I don't know. And I, I and I did watch a couple Star Trek episodes like. Like I did what like I need to watch Star Trek Discover because I watched season one and two and it's really amazing so I need to watch season two, I think three yeah, but all in all, um Star Trek Lower Deck I suggest you watch it I suggest you watch the shows I just did, and um yeah um uh, hope you guys loved my video probably did not, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye. Bye. Oh, sorry.